So all of you know who little Tay is, right? She did the whole, oh, I'm only nine years old and I'm the youngest flexer in this century. Back when I was two years old and I was still shitting myself, I had to move a bunch of bricks to be able to pay in order to be able to survive like a normal person in society because my broke ass mom didn't want to do shit. And my dad tried to fake my death that one time a few years ago, but that's besides the point. Now I'm not nine years old anymore, but I'm still the youngest flexer in this century and I'm better than all you broke ass haters. <laughs> So I'm sure we all know who Little Tay is. She was known, and she made her online presence uh, a long time ago at this point, that she was the youngest flexor of the century. She was, she literally was actually nine years old, and her whole gimmick was that she was a young person online making videos talking about how she, how she had all this money. She lives this extravagant lifestyle, and she had like Louis, Gucci, Versace, all this designer BS, and she had all these cars, she had all of these like houses and, and apartment buildings and stuff like that. Like she's in like her whole personality was that she was rich and she was flexing that she was rich. And that, this was especially during the era of Rice Gum when he was specifically known for being just the most annoying flexor in the entirety of the platform. So that's kind of ironic considering that I think her brother was also like a huge fan of his. So that's annoying. Regardless though, Last year, which I even made a video talking about that situation, last year there was information talking about how she died or something, but there wasn't really any proof of whether or not she died or not, but people weren't actually sure because she had completely vanished off of the internet for a long time and no one really knew what, where, where she was, what she was doing, or, and, or how she was doing. And so people were speculating, this and that, and eventually... Obviously, so someone had to come out and say and explain what actually happened. And yeah, the truth of the matter was that she was still very much alive and that apparently it was her father who was trying to fake her death. For what reason? I don't know. I didn't really go that much into the information to see whether or not, like, why he was doing it. Because I didn't really care, right? The only thing I cared about was if this young girl was actually alive or not, you know, because if she was dead, then that means something happened and we would have really had need to known what actually happened to her that caused her death. Fortunately though, she's still very much alive and even now she's still very much alive, but just a couple of days ago, on her Twitter account, which is now privated, they were making some posts saying that they have some dev devastating news regarding Tay, and this was all on 9-11, strangely enough, so they tweet this first tweet where they say they have the devastating news and then they say that they're gonna update you with more information when it's available and for to pray for her again on 9-11 which is kind of shocking considering what happened to the United States 20 years ago you know that very infamous day and then the next day they tweet out an image saying that she's in the ICU in serious condition and another tweet shows that she apparently has a life-threatening heart tumor I'm not a medical profession I don't really know much about tumors right because I'm not a doctor so I'm not gonna pretend like I know what it is that I'm looking at at, but it looks like that she has a tumor in her heart right and that's very serious considering that a tumor is cancerous or it can be cancerous and yeah like that's a very very serious situation so immediately people got very much worried because you know for better or worse people do like tay they they do care for little tay because we practically have known her since she was a little kid you know so naturally people are going to be interested to see what what it is that's going on with her especially considering that i don't think she's actually even really posted for a while because i'm on her youtube channel right now and she's got 400k with five videos but four of those five videos are youtube short and there's really no other activity i, don't, I haven't checked her instagram or anything to see if she's posted anything there again i can't really check her twitter because now it's privated so i can't see i can't see if she's posted anything other than these tweets that are very concerning and then she retweets a tweet of someone saying stop accusing atea lying that has nothing to gain of, uh, of this and that and yada yada and apparently it was a handwritten message from tay herself from a few months ago where she did a merch drop and then in this merch drop she had a handwritten letter that said that she was diagnosed with a heart tumor so it's a bit confusing in terms of of the timeline so if they have concerning news and information about tay and her having a heart tumor why did they wait so long to actually inform people of the situation to begin with because now it makes it seem like that she had just recently diagnosed with this heart tumor when it was a few months ago when she did her her merch drop that that's when she actually had already gotten diagnosed with a heart tumor so that's very strange there's also another tweet that someone else found saying that they got an apology letter from tay's merch and that it was delayed because of the heart tumor which is very odd 
on. And then they tweet that Tay had gone under surgery. Then they tweet out a fucking broken heart emoji, which can only indicate a couple of things. So you're, they're already tugging on the heartstrings to make it seem like something bad happened. And then no, they're actually overjoyed because the heart surgery was successful. Here's what I think ended up happening. I think what ended up happening is that they exacerbated the details around her heart tumor to promote her new single that's going to be coming out soon and honestly i think that's about it right because someone tweeted that she has a new single coming out pretty soon in a couple of days which i think it comes out on the 20th of this month which i don't know it's like they already tug on people's heartstrings uh, to begin with when they had faked her death initially. Uh, yes, it wasn't them specifically who made this series of accusations about her being dead. It was her father, but they still benefited from this. Like, she exploded back into the mainstream popularity again because of the fact that people were constantly talking about her again. So they had already benefited it greatly from Little Tay being back in the mainstream because of that happening. And now they're trying to do the exact same thing by essentially exacerbating and exaggerating the details of this dangerous life altering fucking tumor that's in her body and when she had it and when she got the surgery to get rid of it and yeah you know it's it's very odd right it's very strange to go ahead and just see this happen especially considering that people don't like their heartstrings being tangled and we actually recently saw something similar to this end up happening uh regarding around boogie 2988 and he uh exaggerated and exacerbated a lot of details around his cancer and uh, which i think in his case it was actually skin cancer or something like that so people already were having their hearts being tugged by the strings because of the fact that she potentially could die because of this tumor but we also had a situation where another content creator lied about their own cancer so yeah this is a this was a very strange situation if they really wanted to go ahead and promote her single in some sort of way this was not the way to go about doing it, it or and if that's not what they were trying to do and they're only just now telling us if this information about her having the tumor they should have done it in such a way that made more sense right they should have done it when she actually had the tumor and they had just discovered that she had the tumor instead of just waiting months and months on end to then reveal that this happened and that she had it and then conveniently around the same time when they announced when that she has this and she had surgery to get rid of it oh yeah i know we're also releasing a song right it's a single we're not releasing an album but it's a single anyway that's besides the point this is a very strange sequence of events that ended up happening around little tay uh, i'm glad that she's okay i'm glad that she doesn't have this tumor in her body anymore but the way that she went about it to relay this information on the people and the way that they're trying to benefit off of this happening it's just really shady and scummy it just it, it feels gross that the, this is how they went about trying to give people this information because like i said for better or worse people do care about tay people are invested into little tay as uh, a persona as a character because she does portray a character and she's not really like that but there's not really much to, for me to say about the situation other than that i wish that she went about it in a much better way i wish that she actually explained her situation in a way that didn't feel emotionally manipulative because it really just seems like that they were trying to exacerbate certain details about her tumor but other than that i don't really have much else to say i wish it was done in a better way but what can i do it's already been done so hopefully they learned their lesson from this hopefully they explain their thought process as to why they explained it like this or why they took so long to actually explain why she had been gone for so long because she hasn't posted in like a fucking year so other than that that's pretty much all i have to say about the little tay situation nothing too serious i'm glad that she's okay but not much else i want to give a thank you to pager360 for being my first member on the youtube channel and with that i would actually highly suggest you guys go and join the memberships i really appreciate it but you don't have to in order to be able to enjoy the content but other than that if you liked the video, be sure to leave a like. If you want to see more, please be sure to subscribe. Please turn on bell notifications so you don't miss another video. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace. Drop that